Hi friend, this is Pastor Lucas Pina, and this is our snack for the journey. And we are on a journey here through the New Testament. My goal is to have in this channel uh, a, a short meditation in one or two verses in each chapter of the New Testament. And I'd like to invite you to take this journey with us. Of course, in this specific journey, sometimes I'm going to skip one chapter, two uh, or more sometimes. It's because I already have a meditation on those chapters, so I'm not going to go back there. But you are going to find, uh, when we finish, that's the goal. We're, you are going to find a meditation in every chapter of the New Testament in this uh, channel here. I also like to encourage you to subscribe to our channel, to share this video with your friends and family, and help us to bless other people. So let's see the verse for today. Verse for today, John 16, verse 1. All this I have told you so that you will not go astray. All of this, all this, and Jesus here is teaching, he's in the upper room teaching the disciples. He's a, he's a long part, of, a, a, a large part of the Gospel of John is in the, in the upper room. Jesus teaching and then washing the disciples' feet and then having the communion there and all. it's it's a it's a long but a lot of teaching going on there and and this is Jesus is, is saying this very very clear to them said I'm going to I'm telling you all of this all those teachings and now we can expand that not only to the New Testament but to the scriptures is the teaching of Jesus Jesus is saying all of this so that you will not go astray you will not abandon, you will not give up, you're not going to turn to the wrong direction. It's the teaching of Jesus, and this is why it's so important for us to learn, to meditate, to study, to memorize the, whatever Jesus is telling us. All the teachings, you start with, uh, with the New Testament, read, read, read the Gospels, read, read, meditate, study, learn practice because if we do that we will not abandon we will not turn to the wrong direction we will not go astray that is the goal that is the goal nowadays we have so many christians believers church attendants and people that used to go to church all the time and they are turning around and turn their backs to the church to god to jesus it's because of this. They did not pay attention in what Jesus said and taught. They did not practice. They did not believe. And that is the danger. And this is why Jesus is emphasizing this. He said, I'm, go I'm telling all those things to you. He's trying to be more specific as we could, with the disciples, say, I don't want you to go astray. I need to teach you as much as I can. And you have to learn as much as you can. So you will not turn your back to God and to Jesus. And that is the goal, my friend. That is the goal. To stay firm. Stay the course. Stay firm. Persevere. The Lord is going to help us. The Holy Spirit is here to help us. And we need to learn what Jesus said so we can stay put, stay firm, persevere all the way to the end. That is the goal. That is the goal. And this is our snack for today. God bless you.